Hi, my name is Robbie Samuels. I'm a virtual event design consultant and executive Zoom producer. Today, I'm going to show you how to optimize setting up a two monitor PowerPoint presentation. So I've seen some mistakes, which is why I'm doing this video. If you have two monitors, you want to put your presentation in full screen on your second monitor, not your first, not the one that's in front of you. The one in front of you should have your notes and your Zoom window and your Zoom participants, uh, pictures and videos, because otherwise when you're presenting your slides, you're going to have to look over here to read your notes and people are going to actually see you doing this, which, and sometimes I've seen people know they should look at the camera. So they'll be doing this and then this. And so logically, I would suggest putting the notes in front of you. Now, when you have two monitors, um, there's a way to set it up so that no one actually ever has to see the sort of setup of PowerPoint. Before people come in, while they're still in the waiting room, go to share screen and you'll see this is not yet set up. You don't, you know, it's not in full screen mode. And that's because if this were in full screen mode before I hit share, there would be no option here. I'm gonna actually do that. So I go to here, I'm gonna press play and immediately it's gonna take over my seconds, my, my, both my screens. And look, I, I don't have any kind of way to navigate in Zoom. So I'm gonna exit out of that. And instead I'm gonna hit share screen, choose it. Now I'm gonna play the full screen again. And now I have this nice navigation bar. And it's this navigation bar that you really need to have up on the screen. Um, and again, the order is share screen, play presentation mode, full screen, and then you can always stop share. So now that that's set up during the waiting room is closed moment, now you're ready to go. Now, one other thing I want to show you when I share this again, you can also go always go back and click on that PowerPoint again. You can go back and forth now that it's set up as part of your share, it's available to you. And this is actually an update as it used to be. If you had a PowerPoint presentation in full screen mode, then you wouldn't see it on this list. And that was kind of frustrating, but now you can just double click. And now this comes up. Now do you see how I have, I have this set up here. I can have my notes as close to the camera as possible, but the default is actually more like this. And the notes are way down here. And you don't want your notes this far down your screen because then you have to look down and then look back up because people can see you when your slides are showing, they're still seeing a picture of you. So you don't want to be looking down the entire time reading your notes. You don't want to be looking over to your second monitor the whole time reading your notes. You want to be able to look at the camera as much as possible, which is why I move this up as far as it'll go. And then I move this over to the left a bit. And then of course, I want to encourage you to stop share and speak directly to the camera. And then you can always go back to your slides by again, sharing your slides and then advancing to the next slide. All right. So that's basically the setup here is we want to stop share, look at the camera and always be able to go back. So two things here. One is your notes should be as close to the camera as possible. Uh, and you should be able to be clicking on your share screen and going to your slides and then stopping share and going back to the camera. Now, this is how to do it. If you have two monitors, if you have only one monitor, I've done a video showing how to do in window for your presentation mode for PowerPoint. And that's what I would highly recommend while you could play in full screen on a single monitor, you won't be able to have any notes. So that would only work if you don't need notes. <laughs> So if you don't need notes, you can do full screen and do the exact thing I just did, which is share it the way I just did from the second monitor, have it be ready to go. And then you can go back and forth, sharing and stop sharing, sharing and stop sharing. Um, but you won't have any notes. So if you share in window, as I showed on another video, then you can have your separate notes up close to the camera and that would work for you. I hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.